So many people I've talked to have no idea where they are going or want to go once they hit their mid-40s. They've lived an adult life for just over 20 years, and they wonder about some of their choices. Would they do it the same way if they could start over? My answer is to forget about what was and start over now. Those discussions are what led me to developing ROAR, a concept that is simple and understandable and can be followed by anyone if they adhere to these core principles. ROAR is an acronym that means to reimagine yourself, own who you are, act on what's next, reassess your relationships to get you there. The key question to ask yourself first is, why not me? Why shouldn't you be able to change your life? The short answer is that you can, and after listening to this audiobook, you will be inspired by real-life stories that show you how to do it. With life expectancies getting longer for most people, you might have the opportunity to live multiple lives, from new careers to new loves to new passions. The traditional construct, marriage and a couple of kids, a job at a company for 30 years or more with a pension and a comfortable retirement, is being blown up every day. You may have lived that life once, but now there are reimagineers among us who are redefining what might be beyond the first half of one's life. You might have three different careers, not become a parent until you are 50, or find a new love later in life. You might not blossom until you are in your 60s or 70s. Ignore all of those pundits who claim that as we age, we lose our capacity to create, to become entrepreneurs, to do daring things. I'm tired of hearing from psychologists and sociologists and other ists who are constantly trying to limit who and what we might be over the span of a lifetime. Forget the words age-appropriate and focus on person-appropriate. Be the one who is seen as the role model for an engaged life. While we're at it, let's banish the word retire and call it refire or rewire instead, as many people are living extraordinary lives after they leave their main professions. Let's stop cultural and self-imposed ageism, too, and focus on self-imposed growthism. It's time to purge many of the words that try to label us as we gain years to our lives. In the second half of life, you can have a major renaissance in who you are and how you live. Start that journey now.